If you think you have an incurable disease, if you think it yourself, you are right. If you think your problem is curable, then you are also right. Science has recognized that at least one third of all healings, including drugs and surgery and other allopathic interventions, one third of all healings has nothing to do with the process, but has to do with the placebo effect. The placebo effect is really another way of talking about the body's self-healing capacity. And anything that unleashes more of that is going to be a better system. Informational medicine, medicine that takes information and changes disturbed information is going to be the future of medicine. Watch an ice skater. There are things that they can do that are not describable in terms of nerve impulses. We need a field theory to explain how the nervous system in all its complexity can coordinate everything that happens in the body. Our brains also don't work the way we were taught in school. Learning isn't here, memory isn't here, speech isn't here, this isn't there, this isn't somewhere else. These aspects are diffuse throughout our brain and we access it from the field. And maybe 10 years I'd been having these terrible headaches which were getting worse and worse and worse. I was sent for a brain scan and they diagnosed a, a prolactinoma. I had my routine blood test and went to see my specialist. To my surprise, my hormone levels were completely normal. And when my doctor saw them, he just went, wow, that's incredible. He said, this can only mean one thing. Your tumor has gone. One of the fundamental things that has to change in the future of medicine is this focus on the gene as being the solution to every illness. But genes are not controlling our biology. There's something else that's needed to explain how it is that we behave, how we interact, um, how we heal. Matter is compressed energy. Information is patterns of energy. There's an information flow in our bodies. Also die eigentliche Steuerung des gesamten Organismus aller Zellen, die Koordinierung der gesamten Zellen läuft über solche Informationsfelder ab. The heart generates by far the largest rhythmic electromagnetic signal in the body. If you look at the, this magnetic field as a carrier wave, it's being modulated with information. We think of healing as getting up out of wheelchairs, vision returning, hearing returning, cancers disappearing, all sorts of things. And these things happen. They happen. It's time for us to bring these qualities of healing into the mainstream conversation about what is necessary to create an optimal healing system. <laughs>